nicknamed Sandbar Mitchell after this North American B-25 Mitchell crashed on a sandbar in the Tanana River near Fairbanks, Alaska. This is one of just a few of the old World War II era warbirds yet to be rescued from her abandoned crash site. After serving her duties with the United States Army Air Force from 1944 to 1959, Sandbar Mitchell continued to serve her country as a fire suppression bomber registered as November 9088 Zulu. Owned by Edgar Thurlsrud, she was one of several B-25s used in Alaska in the late 1960s to help fight forest fires. On June 27, 1969, she was again called to duty to help fight the Manly Hot Springs fire. Shortly after takeoff and heavily loaded, while gaining altitude, the worst imaginable happened. She experienced double engine failure. Losing altitude quickly and with very few options available, pilot Herm Gallagher did the best he could. He avoided the drink and skillfully belly landed on the small sandbar in the middle of the Tanana River. After removing the engines, wheels, instruments, and control surfaces, she was abandoned. Many people have visited Sandbar Mitchell during the past 44 years. Unfortunately, many have taken souvenirs and sadly cut off her outer wings, forward and aft section. But fortunately, the soul of Sandbar Mitchell, the valuable center section, still remains on the sandbar today. Two good friends, Patrick Mahalik and Todd Trainer, are forming the Warbirds of Glory Museum with the express hope of rescuing her from further pillage and to put her into the public trust so that she may continue to serve our future generations. Using parts from another salvaged B-25 and scrounging for the remaining missing parts, the two hope to rebuild her and let her soar again. This will be a big challenge for the fledgling little museum in Michigan. Recovering World War II wrecks and restoring them to flying condition is traditionally limited to big budget museums or wealthy individuals. But this is an American story in the making. With hard work, determination, perseverance, and a little luck, these two hope to prove that an American with average means can make it to the top in the warbird restoration community. As with their current work in aviation, the two men like to mentor the younger generation by using aircraft restoration as the means to teach workshop disciplines and to educate our youth about aviation history and the skilled trades. The Sandbar Mitchell Recovery Team is now being assembled. The plan is to journey to Fairbanks in June 2013 airboat to the island shore, trek through the woods, and disassemble her remains piece by piece. The large center section will be fitted on a sled to be towed down the frozen Tannenall during the winter of 2014. If you'd like to be part of the recovery team, please see the website. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to help recover a wrecked warbird. Limited slots are available on the team, so don't miss your chance. This is a unique story that is unfolding in real time. If you want to follow the pair, keep track of them on Facebook slash Sandbar Mitchell or visit their website www.sandbarmitchell.org. Donation buttons are available. You are welcome to contact Todd or Patrick directly if you have questions. Please forward this to your friends and help make this a viral news story. With your support, we hope that eventually Sambar Mitchell may fly again in the American skies. Thank you in advance, and thank you for watching.